I finally told him, listen, can you please ditch the cooked food? Let's just see what happens. He did that. And in two weeks, his kidney function went up 20%. So we do know that there is a significant difference between using the raw, pure hypernourishment protocol that people will use in my rapid recovery programs and in using any amount of cooked food. Why does cooking veggies affect this plan? Great question. I don't know. All right, uh, I have not spent time on investigating that answer. I am very results-based. So what we do is we have worked on trying to figure out how do we get the same results consistently? And what we found is when we continuously use the full amount of raw veggies and we keep the cooked ones out, people get the fastest results. Some people can get away with a little bit of cooked vegetables and still get those results, and that's wonderful, and others can't. So for example, when I published um, reversing kidney failure, right? There was one guy who I wrote about who he did the pure hypernourishment and lupus went into full remission, got off all of his medicines and kidney function went back to normal and it was wonderful and he was doing great. But then right after he started doing great, he immediately didn't listen to me, went back into adding inflammatory foods and it was like, um, Chinese food that had oil in it that he was getting sent to him. He stopped getting good night's sleep. He started having all these problems. Well, he started having some problems come back in and his kidney function started to go down. I said, listen, man, just go back to what worked before. You'll be over this in no time. But at this point, he was already addicted to cooked food again. And he's like, you know what? What if I double the hypernourishment? Um, just in case it's dosage dependent. He said, maybe the reason people don't get better with cooked food is because they're not getting as much raw food. So I'll double the raw food and still keep a little bit of the cooked food. He said, it's up to you, it's up your life, go for it. And he did that and the lupus got a lot better, but his kidney function barely changed. And after two months of that, I finally told him, listen, can you please ditch the cooked food? Let's just see what happens. He did that. And in two weeks, his kidney function went up 20%. So we do know that there is a significant difference between using the raw, pure hypernourishment protocol that people will use in my rapid recovery programs and in using any amount of cooked food. Whether or not that will make a difference for you, I don't know. There are people who do it all the time. I get tagged on social media all the time by people who will say, I did it, I reversed my disease, and all I did was go to Dr. Goldner's classes or read her books, and I'll send them a message, first of all, like, that's amazing, tell me what you did. And most of the time, pure hypernourishment, smoothie salads, and a little bit of beans or a little bit of potatoes, and it worked. So for some people, they'll get away with it, and for other people, they won't, but try. And if it works for you having a little bit of cooked food, great. Um, and if you're not getting results, then you know what to do is switch over. But the reasoning for it, still not clear to me because why would there be any harm from a cooked food? I don't know the answer to that. It's just right now, it's not very good use of my time to try to figure it out because we have a protocol that works and we have so many people who are literally dying to get this information and to, uh, and to start right away. It's why I donate my classes on a regular basis. It's why I do things like this Q and A is I want people to get the information and take action. The whys for me can wait, you know, as someone who used to have lupus, just the action taking part is the most important thing uh, is what do I need to do to get better, right? That's, that's the most essential.